Robert Mueller spoke today and millions listen. The question is, what did they hear? To some degree, the former Russia special counsel's testimony, first before the House Judiciary Committee and then House Intelligence, was in many ways a Rorschach test. Different assumptions on each side going in, different lines of questioning, and completely different takeaways from the two sides afterward. Republicans largely calling it a failed defense of what, in their view, was an illegitimate investigation. Democrats hanging on every instance, Mueller confirmed what was in his report, and in so doing, confirming the Democrats' belief that there's evidence that a felon sits in the White House. What neither side got was a Robert Mueller entertaining hypotheticals or offering his opinions on any subject whatsoever. Mueller's testified many times over his long career, but it has certainly been a while, and today he was often halting, hesitant, obviously reluctant to be there. We'll talk about all that and the rest tonight because all of it is significant. We begin, though, tonight, keeping them honest, with something else that also matters a lot, namely direct attacks by the president on the legitimacy of the investigation and the man in charge of it. Today, Mueller directly contradicted many of those allegations which the president was making even after the hearings late today. There was no defense to this ridiculous hoax, this witch hunt that's been going on for a long time, pretty much from the time I came down on the escalator with our first lady. And it's a disgrace what happened, but I think today proved a lot to everybody. The answer is very simple. Nothing was done wrong. This was all a big hoax. And if you look at it today, nothing was done wrong. He says no wrongdoing, and all it takes is a look at the court docket to see that that's false. And Mr. Mueller had said the opposite just hours before. He and others pointing to the convictions or guilty pleas from Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort, his deputy Rick Gates, president's first national security advisor Michael Flynn, dozens of indictments. As for the hoax and witch hunt allegations, he addressed that as well. When Donald Trump called your investigation a witch hunt, that was also false, was it not? I'd like to think so, yes. Well, your investigation is not a witch hunt, is it? It is not a witch hunt. When the president said the Russian interference was a hoax, that was false, wasn't it? True. When he said it publicly, it was false? Uh, he, he did uh, say publicly that it was false, yes. So, not a witch hunt, not a hoax either. As for the president's claim, repeated twice this afternoon that nothing was done wrong, it's definitely not what Mueller found. Watch. Director Mueller, the president has repeatedly claimed that your report found there was no obstruction and that it completely and totally exonerated him. But that is not what your report said, is it? Correct. It is not what the report said. Well, the president has also claimed that the special counsel, who was twice nominated to be FBI director, once by a Republican, then by a Democrat, has conflicts of interest and a grudge against the president because he was turned down for the directorship a third time. He's got big conflicts with me. As you know, he wanted the job of the FBI director. He didn't get it. And we had a business uh, relationship where I said no. And uh, I would say that he wasn't happy. Then all of a sudden, he gets this position. Well, for the record, the so-called business relationship concerned a refund Mueller was seeking for the balance of an unused membership at one of the president's country clubs, something, according to the Mueller report, former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon told President Trump was, quote, ridiculous and petty. As for the president's claim that Mueller wanted his old job back, Mueller was asked about that today. So you don't recall on May 16th, 2017, that you interviewed with the president regarding the FBI director job? Uh, I interviewed with the president and uh, regarding it was the about, FBI director it was job was about the job and not about me applying for the job. So, so your, your statement here today is that you didn't interview to apply for the FBI director job? That's correct. Well, the president say also called attention to a moment early on that certainly had Democrats buzzing because it went to the heart of the case they were trying to make that the special counsel would have indicted the president on obstruction charges or not for the Justice Department guidelines barring a sitting president from being indicted. That moment happened during questioning by California Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu. So to recap what we've heard, uh, we have heard today that the president ordered former White House counsel Don McGahn to fire you. The president ordered Don McGahn to then cover that up and create a false paper trail. And now we've heard the president ordered Corey Lewandowski to tell Jeff Sessions to limit your investigation so that he, you, stop investigating the president. I believe a reasonable person looking at these facts uh, could conclude that all three elements of the crime of obstruction justice have been met. 
And I'd like to ask you, the reason, again, that you did not indict Donald Trump is because of OLC opinion stating that you cannot indict a sitting president, correct? Uh, that is correct. Well, as you might imagine, that made news, unwelcome news to Mr. Mueller, who walked back his remarks a short time later. I want to go back to one thing that was said this morning by Mr. Liu, who said, and I quote, you didn't charge the president because of the OLC opinion. That is not the correct way to say it. As we say in the report, and as I said at the opening, we did not reach a determination as to whether the president committed a crime. Which is consistent with language from his report, but still leaves open the question, what would Mueller have done if not for the OLC opinion?